Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Supercharge your WordPress website's ad revenue in 2023 by connecting it with Ezoic. The step-by-step -step tutorial will guide you through the integration process making ad optimization easier and more effective. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, there is multiple ways to actually connect Ezoic with WordPress, depending on how you want to do it exactly. For example, there is the first way which is basically by going to wordpress.com and by going here you will get this domain name as you can see. So this is for now your domain name in WordPress. So to connect it with Ezoic all you have to do is to simply head up to Ezoic official website, click on add site button and in here this window should be opened. Simply just type this here and remove the Ezoic, uh, remove the basic ads to Ezoic, click on save and as you can see uh, it will not get connected unless you have a good domain how to get like a correct domain well basically what you have to do is to upgrade your plan so you can get a normal domain not a subdomain because the wordpress.com is basically the main domain and after that before that it's the like the the subdomain so to get yeah, like your own domain and to connect it directly with is all example you have to get a premium plan by buying it through WordPress. It could be pretty much uh, expensive for you. Uh, it can start with only four dollars, so it's not that much, but it depends on you guys. It can be very expensive for you. It can be very cheap, so you can actually go for it with only four dollars per year, uh, or forty-eight dollars per year, and you will get your free domain for one year. You can use it and then connect it with Ezoic, and just like that, you have connected your WordPress domain with Ezoic. Now there is the other method, which is buy add an Ezoic to WordPress inside of WordPress. So simply what you need to do is to open your WordPress dashboard, go to look to plugins and go to add new plugins. After you do that, you will face this page that is basically the marketplace of WordPress. Next thing is go to search for plugins and search for Ezoic and wait for it to load. And there it is. So now the next thing is to simply click on install now and wait for it until it opens so it is done now simply head up to here and activate it let's just wait a little bit of time and it should be good to go it shouldn't take that much of time so now all we need to do is to create our account so simply click here to create your account if you do not have an account already existing of course if you do have simply just click on login so here you can head up and click on login but for me I will log in into my Ezoic account so I will just log in real quick and I'll be right back so there I have that's open and here it is so now uh, as you can see I have logged in and everything is working well but still I have to go to through the same thing which is adding a site by clicking here and changing this one to Ezoic and just like that I can add my domain name which is in that case can't be open but can't be done since I have it uh, I don't have the premium plan yet uh, and for more details on how to connect it or anything about it you can find it through the settings sometimes you can actually find so many things about the authorized devices the affiliate program some some details that can be pretty much helpful for you as a user of uh, their own like app so basically these are the two only ways so to do so and for the steps this is very easy so if you already have an Ezoic account please log in and add this domain to your existing account by this domain they mean your website domain so here just go here and click on add sites and add it here as I said it and if you do not have an account already you just have to go through here create your account now and then you have to do that so when this domain has been added to your Ezoic account, please return to your WordPress domain administration and reactivate this Ezoic plugin. So once it is done, what you do have to do is to go back. As you can see here, I clicked on back button and through here I have to click on activate once more. And just like that, it should have been accepted and ready to go.
but since I don't have the premium plan on WordPress, as I said, uh, which will cost me around forty-eight dollars per, per year, they don't accept like the uh, monthly payment. Uh, after that, you will get ready to go. You can by then add a uh, Google Manager ad. You can add so many things to your account. This can be very very helpful for you. So you can add revenue. Uh, as you can see, it's like a very helpful platform. Here you can see all your revenue through the month. You can check the last year. There is all the analytics that you might need to actually improve your ad revenue through the year. You can check your traffic, your last traffic overview, like from the uh, page views, from the how much time did the day spent on a page which page has the most views and etc and just like that you will have even the hours when the website is actually having the most of views as you can see here this line will split the hours for you so you can even check the hours you will have here experiments uh, so you can do like a report, run reports, see your experiment. Here you can see the audience, different kind. So you can see how are they going through your site, which language, uh, which is, what is their location, what is their local time, what is the local time zone, and the weather even. Like you can, I don't know whether it's pretty much important, but yeah, maybe if you notice that every user is having like a cold temperature in their weather, you can provide them with some tips, etc. in your blog to make them feel more hot and warm in their day <laughs> for example by wearing clothes <laughs> i don't know so here is the behavior so the return visitor frequency so for example if a visitor went to your website and checked it out leaves it how many percent the percentages of these viewers are going to actually go back and revisit your website so this is the return vi a visitor frequency which is RVF and uh, new versus returning so how many how many new users are you getting uh, against the returning visitors the new vacation bonuses and the visit path and finally here you have some others like the site speed which is very very important for you to know there is the sites that you have the subdomains of it the content so you can see here all the landing page the pages that you own so you can check every page and how many users are getting there how much time they spend on that page exactly and yeah some details are uh, this kind of details as I said and finally here you can even find the content A's categories so they literally do, do everything for you and in case you would like to export it you can have it as an Excel sheet as CSV or even as a Google sheet so your data won't be lost at all this is a very very useful thing to have between your arms so you can progress and develop the ad revenue and the content on your website so you can make the most earnings that you would do on a normal website and yeah guys that was it for today's video thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial